The last type of variation that we are going to talk about is joint and combined. Joint and combined variation are similar to direct and inverse variation. It's just that with these, um, joint and combined variation have three variables together on one side versus just two, you know, just the K and the X on one side. Um, so a joint variation Joint variation is in the form of Z equals KXY. Um, K obviously can't be zero because that would just cancel everything out. Um, a classic example for this is the volume formula. Uh, the volume of, you know, just a regular box is length times width times height. So as you can see, volume is my Z, length is my K, X is my width, Y is my height. So it's just using those different formulas in order to figure out what your equation is. Um, so to give you an example here, R varies directly as S and T. Okay, so one set of values, R equals 28, S equals 7, and T equals 8. What is R when S equals 12 and T equals 9? Okay, so what you're going to be doing here is you are going to be finding the missing value as well as um, you need an equation, obviously, in order to figure this out. So in order to figure this out, you also need the K. So the first part tells me that R varies directly. That tells me that's the Z in my formula. So I have R equals K times 7, well, I'll just put it as a letter, times S times T. So we really have 28 equals K times 7 times 8. So with this, I need to get the K by itself in order to solve, you know, when I've got 12 and T. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this. I then divide K equals one half. So the equation we're using here is R equals one half ST. So from this, I'm going to go ahead and find R and plug in my 12 and 9. So I have a half times 12 times 9. So I really have 6 times 9, which gives me 54. So the key here is R varies directly. So that tells you what variable represents the Z in our joint variation formula. Um, so next, we need to talk about combined variation. Combined variation, you have some division. So Z equals KX divided by Y. Y obviously cannot be zero because you can't divide by Y. Um, as well as K is a non-zero constant as well, just because you don't want that um, you don't want that to cancel out. So for instance. A varies directly 
as B. And inversely as C. 8 equals 14, B equals 7, and C equals 3. What does A equal? B equals 4 and C equals 8. Okay, so the key things you're looking for here. You're looking for A varies directly as B. Okay, so this tells you A is the first one, so that represents the Z. Directly, remember, means multiplication. So B is our X. So we've got B, K, or you can do it KB. We'll stick with KB, sorry. Inversely, that inversely tells me it's division. So I now have this formula in which I need to go ahead and solve for K. So I've got 14 equals k times 7 over 3. Um, in order to solve for k, I'm going to multiply by 3 to both sides so that they cancel. Uh, 14 times 3 gives me 42 equals 7k. Divide by 7, k equals 6. Okay, so now that I've got what my k value is, I can go ahead and solve for a with the 4 and the 8. So I've got a equals, well, we've got 6 times 4 divided by 8. So I've got really 24 over 8, which equals 3. So this is the last section talking about variation because it's a com combination of direct variation as well as a combination with inverse variation.